uh, our position is very straightforward. We will talk to everyone and anyone. You know, we've talked to the Unionists, to the Loyalists, to the British. So we don't have any problem with talking to uh, Fine Gael or Fianna Fáil. They are the parties who have said that they won't talk to us, that we're not worthy to be talked to, that our electorate aren't worthy to be uh, talked to. So that makes it quite difficult for, for us in terms of trying to make sense of all of that. Having said that, of course, because we are elected on our own core principles, because we have a mandate, because we signed up to the right to change uh, principles, and there are lots of incompatibilities in policy, it would be very, very difficult to envisage us being able to uh, develop uh, a programme for government. But in terms of talks, we're happy to talk to anyone. Uh, there is a compatibility between Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil on social and economic issues. I, I, mean, I, I think it's entirely legitimate for either of them to say, look, we, 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 we don't want to be in government with the other. But I do think that the offer that was made by the, the acting Taoiseach to Hall Martin did deserve more exploration and more examination than it was given, where, where he was saying, uh, come in on the basis of partnership, on the basis of equality, uh, and there was even talk about there being a Rufinian uh, Taoiseach, so I don't think Fianna Fáil dealt with that uh, properly. At the same time, I don't think that Fine Gael were right to put it out publicly as they did. So, you know, when, when, when you consider what's happening here in this bubble, and we're into seven weeks and into another uh, election which appears to be going to be inconclusive, and they haven't even discussed policy matters. They haven't even sat down and exchanged policy papers. So what were they doing for the last number of uh, so-called negotiations?